Uh, this lesson will focus on basic angles and angle relationships. One of the first things we need to review very quickly is that in a full circle there are 360 degrees. So that if we work with a one-fourth circle or what adults call a quarter circle, this right here is 90 degrees. And if we work with a half circle, it'll be 180 degrees, okay? Now, we'll start with two basic angles. The first is the right angle. This occurs a lot in what we're going to do. Um, a right angle kind of forms like a corner of a book. It's two perpendicular lines that meet. Often, adults in books and on tests give this little symbol right, right here that you know it's a right angle and it's 90 degrees. The other key angle is lots of kids look at it and go, well, it's just a straight line, but we're concerned about going from here all the way over to there. That's half a circle and it's 180 degrees. And this straight line that makes this angle is called a straight angle. Okay? Now, If we have two angles together that make a straight angle, so here's one angle, and then here's another angle, and together they make 180 degrees, those two angles are called supplementary. These are supplementary angles. They add up to equal 180 degrees. So here's like angle A, here's angle B. Together they're 180 degrees, so we say that they are supplementary. Okay? Now, the type of angle that equals 90 degrees is called a complementary. Complementary angles. They equal 90 degrees. So let's say this is x from here to here, and then this yellow is y. If we add both of those, we get what's in red here. That's 90 degrees, and we call those complementary angles. Okay? Now, can you remember what an angle is? What two angles are, I mean, that add up to 90 degrees? Complementary. How about two angles that add up to 180 degrees? Can you remember that? Supplementary. And let's review one more time. What do we call two angles that add up together to 90 degrees in a right angle? Complementary. Okay? All right. Now, let's remember that when we have a right angle, it's 90 degrees, and two complementary angles add up to 90. So here's our first question. What's angle A if angle B is 30 degrees? Okay? So we simply take this right angle, 90 degrees minus the 30 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. Is that easy? Okay? All right. Now, our next key types of angles are called adjacent angles. Okay? And all adjacent means is next door neighbors. So here we have angle A, angle B, and they share that one line together. And they also share that end point called a vertex. So A and B are adjacent angles. Okay? Now, let's look right here. Angles 1 and 2 are adjacent. Angles 2 and 3 are adjacent. But angles 3 and 1 are not adjacent because they're not right next door to each other. Whoa, let's look down at this wild transversal. Angles 1 and 2 are adjacent, and angles 1 and 3 are adjacent. Angles 5 and 6 are adjacent and angles 5 and 7 are adjacent, okay? And then our last 
type of major angle types are called vertical angles. Now this looks kind of goofy because actually they're on they're, they look like horizontal angles here, A and B. But the reason they are called vertical angles is because this dot right in the middle where they intersect is called a vertex. So these are vertical angles on each side of a vertex. Now what's really cool is these angles on each side of the vertex, they are equal. So if A is 33 degrees, B is also 33 degrees. Okay? Now, let's look here. Here, A and B are just like above, but also these big angles here in blue, they're also vertical angles, and they're also equal. So let's say, let's say X is 147 degrees. Well, Y is 147 degrees. Vertical angles on each side of the vertex are equal. Okay? Now, let's try to see if we can find out what the measurements are here on all the sides of the vertex. Now, we're only given one. Angle A is 40 degrees. Well, we know that angle B, since it is the, it's the vertical angle of A, angle B is also 40. But watch this, okay? Now we have supplementary angles that add up to 180. So X is 180 minus 40, so X is 140 degrees. But whatever X is, Y has to be. So Y is also 140 degrees because it's on the other side of a vertex from X, 140 degrees. And those are our basic angle relationships.